Sydney and its surrounds woke up to scenes of destruction. Power cables down, trees smashed into cars and homes, snow and ice in the Blue Mountains and flooded roads and train lines. I was um, petrified. The water was rising um, rapidly. Yeah. It was um, rising off on the bottom level of the train and it was rising uh, quickly within seconds. The State Emergency Service received more than 1,300 calls for help as the storm hit Sydney with torrential rain, 170 millimetres in parts, with gale force winds up to 160 kilometres an hour. Those 76 odd flood rescues which took priority in terms of uh, how we attended to those calls but the majority were water inundation of properties either through roofs or uh, water rising up and coming through under doors and that type of thing. Power was cut to 30,000 properties and crews have been working non-stop to restore it. A number of major roads were closed and traffic lights blacked out. It's floating in the car, it's all wet, everything's wet, you name it, shoes are wet. Boots wet, everything's wet. Fantastic night. As you can see behind me, my beautiful car. But as the storm roared across Sydney, in the Blue Mountains to the west, it brought unseasonal snow, surprising people in an area which at this time last year was engulfed in devastating bushfires. Seeing the mountains in this, with, with the snow on the trees and stuff, is just absolutely stunning. Just makes everything just look beautiful. More than 20 millimetres of snow fell in the area, blocking roads and cutting power lines. Lightning also caused major safety concerns. It ignited a house fire in the northern Sydney suburb of Pennant Hills. It also delayed 32 flights at Sydney Airport. Authorities say it could be 24 hours before all power is restored and the damage caused by the storm cleaned up. Rachel Papazzoni, ABC News.